The capacity of the state-run Ezra Long Laboratory to respond to COVID-19 has been significantly boosted following a donation by the St. Lucia Electricity Services Limited, Lucilec. Lucilec has contributed more than $160,000 to the Ezra Long Lab. This is the second donation the company has made to aid the lab in testing for COVID-19. More in this report. The ability to test quickly for COVID-19 is a critical part of the national response to the virus. This is especially so for health officials managing cases in this fourth wave. And that's where the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Owen King EU Hospital comes in. It is tasked with a 24-hour turnaround of test results. Laboratory Director Dr. Wayne Felicien says it is a commitment the lab has been able to meet with the assistance of the Senusha Electricity Services Limited, Lucilec. Lucilec, thankfully, has done a second donation to the Ezra Long Lab and by extension to St. Lucia um, to assist in the testing of SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. And this has gone a long way to us trying to meet our turnaround time of 24 hours in terms of testing. That contribution alone has gone a long way to reducing the spread over this period of time between the months of August and September. The numbers are high. We can't get around that. The positivity rate is high comparatively, but we think it could have been a lot worse if we did not have these extra resources just to facilitate proper testing. The director is speaking of a more than $160,000 donation of test kits and consumables donated by Lucilec in July. It enabled the lab to deliver COVID-19 results in quick time. Dr. Felicia says testing and providing results quickly are critical steps in managing national COVID-19 infections. When you look comparatively, when you look at January, February, when we had significant backlogs, and when I say backlogs, we were extending our turnaround to 60s at sometimes and accumulated samples of almost 1,000, 200, 500. We were able to turn around samples within 24 hours, um, eliminating backlogs, persons getting their results within a reasonable time frame. And a lot of companies, government services, police, able to make decisions in real time as opposed to having six day time lapses and having persons in the community who have been exposed, developing positivity and, by extension, um, spreading the virus. This is the second donation Lucilec has made to increase the testing capacity of the facility. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma george says Lucilec's donation has really assisted in managing the cases in a very timely manner. Yeah, Lucilec has been supporting our testing capacity at the Ezra Long Lab and this isn't the first time but this second donation of test kits and consumables to the Ezra Long Lab is very significant. And if you look at our management of this fourth wave, where we've noted a vast increase of cases within a shorter period of time, this is the most cases we've managed, our testing capacity per day has gone up to, up to over 500 per day. And we, the lab has been able to maintain the 24-hour turnaround time. And this is because of the support of Lucilec. So the, the testing kits and the consumables, they've ensured that we've, we've kept in terms of our stock and we've been able to facilitate the, the, the turnaround time. We have not had a lag in terms of our resources or the accumulation of samples from not being able to test. And this has really assisted us in managing the cases and their contacts in a very timely manner. So we are extremely um, grateful for, for that level of collaboration with, with Lucilec. Testing is a necessary and expensive part of managing COVID-19 on island. Lucilec Managing Director Trevor Louise says it is for this reason that the company responded quickly to such requests from the Ezra Long Laboratory. The two donations made to improve testing capacity at the lab totals over a quarter of a million dollars. Each COVID-19 test costs approximately 150 U.S. dollars and is provided free of charge at respiratory clinics across the island. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.